Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, another Svelte episode. We are going to be looking at using cookies rather than local storage. I know a lot of you have been discussing this and talking about it, and we could talk about the pros and cons and, well, then how to do it. Um, I want to throw out there that I have a Patreon account. If you want to support content like this, that would be fantastic. I also have a newsletter on programmingtl.com with the links below. And on that, I send out the latest episodes as well as interesting tidbits. I find about technical stuff about once a week. And that's it. Let's go ahead and dig into the code. So in fact, before we live in the code here, let's get into the demo. So we have our sign in here. Go to sign in, submits. And now you can see if we're looking at cookies, I think I can make this sidebar bigger. We have store local storage. If you look at our user key here now, and let's just post that in a new file, you can see we don't have JWT anywhere in here anymore. So no JWTs in our local storage. However, under our cookies, we now have one called JWT from our Rails app, and it is HTTP only. So you can see that, and it's secure. So that is what we're going to do. We can still go ahead and create posts over here. Let me close out the sidebar for a moment. And this works. We can go ahead and edit this post. We can go ahead and do our settings and sign out. And when we sign out, we can see that we no longer have the cookie and our user has been cleared. So let us see what we have done. It's only changed a few files here. Um, the first one is our API. I added a section here where we're going to take in data creds. And if so, we're going to add credentials include. And then we'll delete that out because that just gets sent in as part of the body. We don't need that. So we're going to go ahead and I could grab it out of data and creds and include it as part of our options to our fetch request, which is right here. And then within our nav, you have gone ahead and have this new creds true as part of our options. And we also provide the proper AUD. Within our index here, we have gone ahead and added the creds as well for our update. We have added creds for our destroy and then for our submit, which is the create. I've also added the settings, updating the creds, and then on signing creds. So very simple. That's all we really needed to do for that. Um, the other thing we're gonna cover real quick, and I didn't mention this before, I'll make sure to put that in the title, is that we added DOM Purify. So before we were not doing anything to mitigate XSS from users markdown. So we have this nice isomorphic DOM Purify. And we are using Sanitize here on that. I may have mentioned that in the previous episode now that I'm thinking about it. That being said, this is a very, very short, simple episode in how we can use cookie authentication uh, within our application. Let me go ahead and just check it. Okay, I see if I had forgot something in terms of what I've added. Oh yeah, I did mention dump here five four. So yeah, just the credentials. And everywhere else, yeah, we had JWT before next to the AUD, and we were able to remove those. And yeah, very, very simple. Make sure to send the AUD, and we no longer have to send the JWT. So that's it for this episode. If you go ahead and like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I hope you uh, understand the difference if you don't you use cookies uh, rather than the local storage. If you have a singular domain that you need to have it on and you want them to be secure against cross-site scripting or XSS. Uh, alternatively, you could use something like local storage if you needed to support multiple domains, if you need to support a mobile app or something along those lines. That being said, you may want to have uh, 
two different ways that you're checking it so that way people on your application with a singular domain may have the cookie way and you might have a different type of token altogether you might be using oauth or something along those lines to allow your api endpoint users to have their credentials done that way um, like and subscribe i really appreciate you guys i will see you next time thank you